presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and growling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 225, Nasdaq's up 60, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold contract up $19.80, $18.98.70 an ounce. We got silver up 47 cents, $23.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $78.39 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note trading up 24 ticks at 115.06. The 30-year up a full point and a half at 130.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 877 ticks, trading 102.300. Euro is at 108. Yen is at 129. The British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. Well, let, let's go into the futures first, because if you were in front of a computer this morning when the CPI came out, folks, it was a roller coaster. We had some round trips. Look at these round trips, man. This is this is like you gotta love this, man. I mean, this is about as sick as you can get. So. When you're taking a look at this, look at these bots. So, from first off, from high to low today, well, even, even before the CPI came out, folks, the high was 4,019. Now, then it went down to 39.54, shot back up to the 4,021. That, and that's when that shot up. That was when us tigers and tigers in the den were saying, okay, something must have leaked because that was, you know, uh, well, that was the first one, right? Yeah, that was, the, that was the first spike. Hold on one second. Yeah, that was the first spike. Then the bottom line, it comes all the way back down into that uh, 39.70. And now let's take a look. Yeah, we're going back down here, man. There's way too much volume. Yeah, look, look at this. The first spike down had 98,000 contracts. You go up with 36,000. You go back down with 67,000. You go up with 20,000. You go down with 50,000. You go up with 28,000. We're coming down, man. That's, pff, this is pretty cool. I, you know, when you get clarity like that, folks, <laughs> we'll watch this play out, but the bottom line is that that is huge clarity. We get into the NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX. So what we have here is that your first spike Got up to 11,550. Then you shoot down to <laughs> 11,445. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. So, because, well, anyway, the, the volume is all downtown here, too. The first spike down had 41,000 contracts. We go up with 13,000. We go back down with 28,000. We go back up with 9,500. 9, you go back down with 20,000. You go back up with 11,000. That's telling me that, guess what? All, all these lows are actually vulnerable today. That's how that shakes out. King Dollar. Now, King Dollar, look at this, man. So this is going to get really intriguing to see, you know, how far this actually can go. Because what you have with King Dollar is that now we don't get volume on King Dollar. Actually, why don't I do UUP? Watch this. I'm just curious on the UUP. 
is that if it has volume, taken out a swing point, because we'll be taking out a swing point for sure. Okay, so UUP. No, it doesn't have volume. Interesting. So you don't have an ABC down. Now, that's why I was going over there. So now let's go back to King Dollar. We take a look at it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on a weekly first, then on a monthly. Okay, so on a weekly, yeah, you set up. I mean, right there looks like the next number, man. I mean, this is, we, when we took off uh, April 29th, the week of April 29th, the low of that is 101.040. You know, there's not, there's not much to stop it there. You can see that's, and we only traded there four or five days. So this is going to be intriguing to see, you know, how this uh, shakes out. What's really intriguing is the dynamic between, you know, the dollar going down and the market, you know, it, it's up, that's for sure. I mean, you know, but the bottom line is that prior to this, when the dollar was down this kind of numbers, you'd have a market that would explode topside. Um, CPI, the bottom line, CPI, you know, month over month wasn't bad, but you're still running at a 5.9. So it's like, okay, man, you know, that's big numbers. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, you got Tesla is a flat. American Airlines is up a buck. You got, uh, let's see, Advanced Micro is down $1.48. We have uh, Facebook up uh, four bucks. That's a big number, man. So let's go inside the Dow Industrials, take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, Point-wise out here, let's see what we have. You have uh, Boeing putting 38 positive points, United Health 30, Caterpillar 30, Honeywell 24, Disney 24. Take it away from it. Amgen, minus 18, Big Mac, minus 12. Nothing heavy out there. Inside the NDX 100, you have Mercado Libre is up 8.5%. You got uh, Cognizant Technologies up 6.5%. Airbnb is up 4.5%. Taken away from it, Illumina is down 5%. You got uh, Zscaler down 3.7%. Um, Veris, Veris, Gilead's down 2 now, let's, I want to go over to Airbnb for a second and take a look at this. Okay, so Airbnb, the low is 81, the high is 191. Okay, so... Okay, we'll see what it can do. Put it on a weekly. Let me see what on a monthly what this did. So on a monthly, it came back, well... It did come back and test with lighter volume. We, last month we had 36 million shares versus 62. So that's, that could get interesting, man. Let's go take a look at the big uh, Microsoft. Microsoft was going to the top of that gap. I remember when Frank called yesterday. Let me look at this thing. Yeah, there's the gap. So the gap is at 237.40. We went to 239. You get a contraction of volume, yeah. We'll see where this, this closes out, but looks to me like that was just filling the gap. We go take a look at Apple. Get a sideways move. Doesn't look that bad, though. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 204. We get the NASDAQ up by 47. S&Ps are up by 10 and a half. Let's go. So we went to Apple. Let's go see what good old Tesla's doing. So Tesla out here. Yeah, it's flat. So you gotta, you gotta start with it. Not, yeah, this is, a, this is a tough road for Tesla. That's the bottom line. Uh, we NF, uh, well, actually, let's go to the banks because uh, JP Morgan, I think. Let's see who kicks us off tomorrow morning. Uh, okay, it's, oh, it's probably, oh yeah, JP Morgan. There we go, seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so the low's 101, the high's 169. We're trading at 139. Let's see what they're looking for. They're looking for uh, $34.1 billion to the top line, $3.10 to the bottom line. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing that, they, they, I mean, they're only growing by like over a little 1% a year, but that's still a monster number for a company taking in $142 billion. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's see. And there's no doubt that what's well, going to be intriguing with this, and Tom was talking about this on his program, you know, this morning and yesterday, is what are the banks going to be putting in reserve, folks? That's going to be the big number, you know, because the larger they put in the reserve, that's when folks are going to look and say, okay, you know, if, if there's a larger number in the reserve, I suspect the market's going to say, okay, that the banks are looking for something tough going forward. You know, we'll see how this baby shakes out, but that, that's the theory. Um, okay, so we're taking out... A swing today. Let me put this on the daily then. One second. Let's see. Yeah, this is a big contraction up here, man. This doesn't look good to me. This will be interesting, big time, like how this shakes out then. Yeah, so... Thus far, you're right... You're, you're just over the 50% retracement. Um, let's see what city, that's what city's looking like. When does city come out? City comes out tomorrow too. Okay, so the low for city's forty, the high sixty nine. You're trading forty nine. They're looking to take in seventy six, no eighteen billion, and bring a dollar sixteen to the bottom line. Yeah, this is just testing the highs. I mean, you can look at how clearly you can see this. Yesterday, had volume of 17 million. You only get 10 today, and you're coming into 27, 26. Yeah, that's that's saying this wants to go south. Uh, Morgan Stanley. 
Morgan Stanley's coming out with numbers. Uh, it's the 17th, but let's look at it anyway. Let's take a look at Morgan Stanley. Put this. Yeah, same deal. These are counter trend balances. I mean, look, look at this. Well, is that? We, no, let's put this on a daily. Yeah. Yeah, it's, these are counter trend balances. Let me go to BAC. I, I suspect Bank of America is tomorrow morning, too. Yeah, Bank of America is at, at quarter seven tomorrow morning. This is not good. <laughs> Look at this. This is going to be a rejection today of higher price with light of volume. 29 million versus 41 right now. We took out 34.87. You close, you're trading under that. That's, that's, yeah, and this is going to be... What's that, like a 50% retracement of the last move down? There it is, right to the, right to the penny, 50% retracement. Those numbers are saying that these banks are going to back down. That's how, you know, well, let's put it this way. That this, that it's saying that they're going to come out with something that the market really doesn't care for. And I suspect what it actually is, is going to be the aspect of the, um, you know, the amount of reserves that they have to put in because they think going forward that there's going to be, uh, you know, Losses, you know, so if we go to let's go to Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo also, also coming out tomorrow. The lows 36, the high 60. They're looking to do to come in with 20 billion top line, a dollar 33, and the bottom line. And that doesn't look any better either. Yeah. Couldn't hold price out here today. You took a swing point out. The swing point you're taking out is 21.22. Let's go this way. You're taking out 21.22. Right now, you have a volume of uh, 13 million. That swing out there had 21 million. Yeah, this is saying wants lower price. And if we, you know, the uh, what Wells Fargo did do the last couple of days, a couple of days ago, folks, they were talking about the aspect that they're only going to do mortgages for folks that have accounts in the bank. And, you know, what would be the ramifications of that? Well, what happens, folks, is this, is that I don't think there would be any ramifications, actually, even though th that Wells Fargo was one of the largest uh, mortgage makers, because what had happened is that they start backing down out of these mortgages at the beginning of last year. And what tends to happen in markets, meaning in, on the interest rate structure, Every time that, you know, we get to higher prices and higher rates, plenty of mortgage brokers go out of business. That's how it works. That's just how you know, there's no business. And, you know, it's, it's a business that is a very good business. But the bottom line is that they need volume and they don't have the volume right now. And what tends to happen is this, is that when the rates go lower and then the mortgage market itself has basically got decimated like it did, you know, 2007, 2008. And I'm not looking for 2007, at all, but I'm just explaining in the mortgage business, it's as bad as that, okay? So what tends to happen is that you get newer companies that come in that have already run other companies and then they run it up because you're starting from a zero lot line, a zero lot line, you started from a, a zero number, expense-wise and everything else, and then you just start selling paper, okay? That, that, that's the reality, okay? The amount of paper that's, that, and that's what you see just about each and every time that these things happen. Let's go to Goldman Sachs. Uh, I don't know how I forgot about Goldman Sachs, but let's take a look at Goldman. Goldman's coming out the 17th, the low's 22.77, the high's 404. They're looking to do 10 billion and take 559 to the bottom line. This is quite a contraction for Goldman. See this contraction? Now the difference between Goldman and one of the bigger banks, look at these growth numbers, man. They're, they're growing. They're growing by 6% a year in the United States. They're growing about 5% a year in Europe and Asia. So we, we Goldman, the uh, low, yeah, so let's take a look at this. We know where they're at. Put this on a weekly. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. This is a counter trend bounce, too. I mean, look at this thing. You're down with 15 million shares. Last week, we only did seven. Half the amount. Half the amount. That is a heads up, folks. Okay? Um, when you talk about distribution and you're going down 
like in that case, they were going out with 17 million and they're coming up with, you know, 10. It's like, really? Are you kidding? Um, okay, so you had, uh, oh, this is interesting. So it's, it's, it's Google and NVIDIA that um, express concerns to the FTC about the Activision deal. I think the Activision, they did just have to Microsoft. That's the bottom line. <laughs> uh, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. We come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 200. NASDAQ up 51. S&P's up 11. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 189. NASDAQ up 53. S&P is up 10. TOA Toast. Let's go take a look at Toast here. What do we have? So this company here. The point of sales company. So this operates a cloud-based restaurant software company. The company designs, develops sale management equipment to help restaurants improve operations, increase sales, and create a better guest experience. Uh, the lowest eleven dollars, the highs thirty. They look at this amazing software is just something else, man. So they they take in. Well, let me see when the next they're coming out with numbers. So they're coming out with numbers February 15th. Uh, they take in, whoops, there we go. Yeah, 775 million they're looking for. And uh, I see they're still losing money. Look at that. How does this, I just, it, it's so wild to me that, you know, when can companies make money? I mean, look at this for a second, okay? They're going all the way out to 2024. They're still not making money. 
and yet they're taking in 4.6 billion. It seems to me that, I mean, you can build any business like that. I could take TFNN, no doubt, and, you know, do some big numbers, man. If I wanted to take losses like that, it's like, really? I, anyway, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, but bottom line, it is what it is. Let's see where they're trading out here. Um, okay, so you're trading at 19 bucks. You're in a consolidation. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching this thing. Mm. Yeah, let me show you something here. So I have this on a weekly right now, right? I'm going to do the monthly afterwards. But you get, uh, on the weekly, you see this, first you, first you have a spike up on the weekly going all the way back to October, right? It, it trades to a 21.76, okay? The next spike gets to 22. The next spike gets to 25, 23. The next spike gets to 21. There's nothing here, man. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. This one's test is low. Look at that. Either one. That's 1215. That's 1191. These are high volume lows. This is amazing. Let me see what kind of paper they sold out here. This is, this is where this gets really interesting, man, right? They're losing money hand over fist. Look at this. Look at this. They pushed this out at $40, folks, in September of 2021. I mean, that's what kind of bubblicious deal we had going on in the marketplace. <laughs> that's, that's like so crazy, it's unbelievable, man. I mean, that is about as intense as you can get. You lose the money hand over fist, you push it out at 40 bucks, amazing. Absolutely amazing, there's no doubt about it. That is something else. What's gonna get interesting is that, the, um, you know, we have a holiday Monday, so, you know, tomorrow is basically going to be a decent day to, to see, okay, where are they going to trade this market, uh, meaning that you get a long weekend coming up. And, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the, uh, let me actually put this inside the NDX. So what you have, I'm bringing Lucent up, because what happens on these dead cat bounces also, folks, is this, is that it's the dogs that, you know, get, get going. Yeah, I mean, you know, Lucent had gone down from, well, from $21, it hit six bucks last week, but beginning, yeah, last week, and now, you know, you get a counter trend bounce moving. Um, let's go to the couple, uh, let's see what we have with Home Depot. Because they're going to be coming out. That's 221 they're coming out with numbers. Put this on a daily. So this, see these shooting stars like this in candlestick charting, folks? If we get a high volume shooting star, they always like to get tested. So we'll see if it holds at this time. You know, this is where, this is a classic. This is a classic white golf deal. Watch this. That's ice right there. Look at this. That's ice. So ice is laid out at uh, 344.10. It goes down to 283, comes up to 347. It closes that day at 323. It's a classic, man. And I believe, was it Biza, BZH? I think Biza came out with, someone came, one of the houses came out with numbers today. No, that's going to be Thursday, the 22nd. That has, doesn't have anything behind it either. Let me pull this up. Who came out? Housing, housing, housing. Which one? Well, let's go look at, uh, I think it was Toll Brothers. No, it could have been Toll Brothers. So if we look at Toll Brothers, they're coming out February 22nd. Most of them are 22nd. This has been quite a run. That being said, let's see where we're at. You're just over a 0 0.382 uh, retracement. And let's, oh, I know, no, I, I know what we got to do. Everyone's into oil. Hey, let's go take a look at this oil contract. So 
So we're trading 78.23. You got 273,000 contracts out here. And you're coming into 3.39. This is not going to go anywhere either. Wow. Okay, so we do the XLE. We see we are in the XLE. This is taking out a swing. Doesn't have the juice. It's coming into, this is coming into ice too. It's actually above ice. Hey, we'll see whether this is going to test the, test the highs again. It doesn't have the volume. And it's kind of, you can see this downdraft that it's coming into. The downdraft that it's coming into is the day of February 5th. That's when we went from uh, 80, 91 to 86. So let's go take a look at the two big dogs out here. The two big dogs would be Exxon and Chevron. So Exxon is right out of ties. And what are they coming out? They're coming out with numbers the 31st of January. And we go to Chevron. It's interesting. Chevron, Chevron looks better than... Um, I mean, Exxon looks better than Chevron. Now, that's really unusual. But Chevron doesn't look like it wants to go anywhere. So this is, you, you, get, you have divergence in that oil market in a big way. There's no doubt about that because of the fact that Chevron, folks, for years has been stronger than Exxon Mobil. You know, so let's go see what they, these are going to be monster numbers that they think that they're going to do, though, that they know they're going to do. So Chevron is looking for, 54 billion. Well, it goes, it goes down quite a bit, actually. They did 66 last quarter. And Exxon is looking for 97 billion. They did 112 billion last quarter. It looks like the peak in the oil business was the second quarter. That's how this seems to be shaken out. Second quarter, Exxon did 115 billion. Last quarter, they did 112 billion. The bottom line, when you get those numbers, yeah, they, they are printing money. There's no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 167. NASDAQ's up 48. S&P's up seven and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 192, Nasdaq's up 59, S&P's up 11 and a half, and it was KB Home that came out with numbers. Now, listen to this, folks. Uh, this is pretty intense, man. So KB, uh, they, will, they were looking to do... 2,000 orders, right? And they did 700, okay? You are talking about major, major uh, <laughs> numbers, like, going south. Um, you know, it, it has, like, uh, one of the analysts, the RBC Capital Market Analysts, is saying that, you know, the challenge quarter was worse than expected. Forecast is in it. Uh, for the quarter, the challenge quarter and worse than expected forecast is negative for the KB home and for the broader home builders in general. Uh, at some point, we believe that if the trend remains weak on demand price margins, uh, bad news will actually be treated as bad news. You know, the bottom line, folks, is that, you know, the rates haven't gone down. Now, the, the amazing part here, and this is what's kind of really cool, you can see the type of market that when <laughs> that, you know, it didn't destroy them. You know, I suspect it will. I'm not, but it didn't today. You know, and that has to do with the type of market that we're in right now. That's that's what it comes down to. You know, because if you if you think you're going to do 2,000 homes, and you do 700 homes, well, you know, we know that that's a problem. Let's go take a look at this S and P and see where we're going with this S and P. It's been hanging tough here, like up 10 bucks. You know, we'll see what shakes out coming into the close. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, here she comes. Well, we'll see whether she's coming or not. She's been drifting down, but she, has, she hasn't even hit the first high-volume spike yet. The, the, the first high-volume spike at the low is uh, 3988, and we're 10 bucks above that right now. Inside the NQs. Your first spike... The closest one to this one is uh, 11,451, and we're a lot higher than that. I mean, you're 60, you're 60 points higher than that right now. Okay, so we'll see where this is going to shake out coming into the close. But uh, let's go to the XAU and the HUI and see how the volumes have handled with these. They've all been going up, up. There's no doubt about that. You know, last seven days, we just had the uh, XAU go from 119 to 135. I won't have today's volume, but you got. There we go. Okay, so volume wasn't bad yesterday. We did 24 million. The day before that, 19, it broke up at 28. Let me put this on a weekly. And a weekly is pretty dangerous. It's real dangerous, actually. We only got one more day left. You've only, well, no. Okay, because it's actually going to be two days. But if I... That would be, let's just say, I'm going to ballpark it. You're doing, uh, let's, let's, let's say 100 million. And you're going into 200 million. That's going to be pretty intense, man. 
Yeah, you're going into you're going into 200 million shares at 135.55, and we hit 135.81 today. I suspect the gold bugs index is the same. We'll take a look at the gold bugs index. Okay, so yeah, we're coming into 150 million. And last week we did 82 and we're going to do about 75 this week. So, hey, we'll we'll see. I mean, the, the it, it, there's no doubt with the dollar being down so low, okay? Uh this thing should be basically screaming, you know. Um, so the biotech is booming. AMGN. Let's let's go look at AMGN. Let's see what we got here. So your low is two fourteen. Your high is two ninety six. I suspect we just talk. You talk about the small biotech stand. I suspect that's what it is because. Yeah, so I mean, the high in AMG is 296 or 270. So if for a market like this, that's not bad. Okay, let's bring up uh, BTAI. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So this is uh, this is a commercial stage biopharma company. Uh, they're developing transformation medicines and neuroscience and immune oncology utilize an artificial intelligence approach to drug identification and development. Okay, the low is $8.79, the high is 28, that's today. If we take a look at this, oh, there's, there's your rocket ship, Dan. Yep, three months, it went from $10.40, you know, up to here. Yeah, this is gonna be intense, no doubt. Let's take a look. Okay, so we pulled this back. This is an equity that, what, 2020 was at $71, goes down to eight, and now you got, oh, that's a small ABC up. Yeah, you got an ABC up here, one second. Yeah, A point's a good one too. A point's 22, B point, what's that, 10? So you got a 12 point A to B, that's 32. And the business they're in, you probably heard these ads, folks. See this when it says the, the immune oncology utilizing an artificial intelligence approach into drug identification and development. It targeted the, the next, I, I'm, Dan would know more about it than me, but the next deal in oncology, and, and it's, it's, some of it is there right now, is the targeted deal so that when folks get sick, that they're not killing the, all their cells. The, it's gonna be a targeted approach going after the cells. That, that's the bottom line, or basically, yeah, that's the bottom line. So um, I, I, I can see that, that's where this whole thing's going, and it'll, it'll make a big difference. You can see they just hit the, let's go the, they just hit the E-mini, e so. You see, in days like this, this is what also happens, which is really intriguing, um, is that the, when you get a sideways move with not much behind it, they can just jam this thing at the, at the close. You know, we're, we're right next to this first high volume low. And see, the, the volume's coming out again. There's the volume. We're not, let's see, what is it? I got another minute in the 10-minute bar. The volume spiked again. So we're going down there. It's just a matter of how much more selling's going to be here um, going after these lows, you know. I, I suspect what we, more than anything, it's gonna be the banks tomorrow morning, folks, that are gonna tell us quite a bit about where the actual economy's going, you know. Uh, where the, let, let's put it this way, where the, excuse me, where the banks think the economy's going. D Dow, Dow Industrial's right now up 181, Nasdaq's up 55, S&P's are up nine. It's, hang, it's hanging tough up at those levels, man, no doubt. Gold's up 21.90, silver, oh, silver, we're gonna, we're gonna, I mean, yeah, we're gonna pull up silver as soon as we come back. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're going to go to silver, but I want to do these three first. If anyone owns these stocks, you're going to have a big heads up on this, okay? So Middlesex Water, this, this company here, folks. So what, what's going on by the the end of January, right, is that in the S&P, right, uh, the, 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 actually the, the dividend S&P, which is the SDY, what happens is that they need a market cap that is more than 1.5 billion, okay? These three stocks are getting kicked out January 31st. You want to understand that. And the amount of selling is going to be huge because the, the ETF has to, of a middle six water, they got to sell 83 million, this is the second one right there. EMBC, they have to sell 109 million, okay? These are all at lows already. They're gonna be really, they, these things are gonna be smoked, folks. And then you got telephone and data, they have to sell 123 million, okay? So they, there's some problems there, just, so, just, just a heads up. Okay, so let's go take a look at Silva. Yeah, still consolidate. Still, still consolidate. So, Seventy thousand contracts hasn't been able to get over this yet. Big volume. Now, see this. This to me is a problem. That you have the volume. You're going into. You're going into sixty-nine thousand contracts. You did seventy. Just having a problem, man. Getting, getting, getting up there. And normally it wouldn't be a problem, except that 
you know, when you come down the other side, you come down with 60,000 contracts too. So you've, you've, you've come down with some bread, man. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this uh, baby goes, but uh, you know, it needs more juice. And of course, coming into Friday is always exciting, particularly uh, in the metals market. There's no doubt about that, folks. Volume-wise out here, let's see what we're gonna have inside the indices. Inside the indices, what we have out here, it's gonna be shot volume. We're at 583 million right now in the NYSE. That'll bang that out at about 850. Inside the composite, the composite has it. The composite has five billion. That'll do about 5.5 billion. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happy, and prosperity. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at them, folks.